Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. Today we're going to be painting this easy bee painting that's perfect for kids as well as beginner painters who are not as experienced with acrylic painting. So what you'll be needing for this painting is either some watercolor paper or a canvas. I'm using watercolor paper. A cup of water, I have my tablecloth on my table, a cloth rag, a two inch flat brush, a number six round brush, a detail round brush, and a flat one inch brush. You can also use some kind of bubble wrap for the background or this is the kind of plastic that's wrapped with oranges or avocados. You can use some of that to make some different prints and patterns. We'll also be using our acrylic paint. So you'll need some cadmium yellow, a little bit of white, some Mars black, and some red. We don't really need blue for this painting, but you could add some if you'd like. I also have some burnt umber, a nice brown color that I will be using. So here's another example of one that I did where I outlined the wings and the legs with a black Sharpie. So if you're working with a younger kid, um, that could be a good option for some of the younger ages. It might be difficult to paint the legs and the antennae, so you can use a black Sharpie to outline as well. All right, so to get started, we're going to um, do our wash. So to do our wash, I'm using my two inch flat brush, dipping it in water and getting some of our cadmium yellow. And you're just going to brush it on and completely cover the surface of your paper. If you want, you can tape your paper down on the table to prevent it from kind of bending and wrinkling as much. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be painting some texture and stuff over top. This is just the background. So once that's done, you can kind of let it dry for about 10 or so minutes, uh, but you can also kind of pat it with a cloth or a paper towel, kind of get some cool texture. You can use plastic as well, which would look really cool. So now for some areas of the beehive, we're just going to use our plastic netting and you can just paint in different areas. So we're gonna mix some yellow with some of our red. I'm using a crimson red. You can kind of use what other colors you have. And we're just gonna kind of brush it in like that. You can kind of dab it. And then when you lift it off, it kind of makes a cool stencil effect. So we're just going to keep doing that in areas to create our background. And it's okay if it smudges, it's just part of the texture. If you add less paint on your brush, it acts as dry brushing and it can kind of be transparent in some areas, which looks cool. You can flip your paper around and just add some other colors. So you can mix some brown if you want with some orange. You can add some water to your paint so it becomes a thin wash. You can add some areas that are a bit thicker with paint. So we're just going to keep doing this all over and repeating it. You can overlap certain areas. You can leave some areas with the background showing just plain, kind of however you want to do it. So 
Might do like a bigger patch here. And kind of dab it like a sponge. Good to have some that are kind of off the page. You can also just kind of dab it and scratch it in areas. This is just kind of creating a nice textured surface for us to paint on. So you can use bubble wrap as well if you'd like. You can also just paint little circles. Or little hexagon shapes. Kind of dab your brush like this. And just play around with it. Add some different colors, add some oranges, some browns, some yellows. And just kind of keep playing with it. Overlap certain parts. You can also get your brush a little wet and do some splatters. Which are always fun. Once you're happy with that, you have some blank space, you have some areas of overlap, you have some bright areas like my bright orange, you have some darker areas like my brown, you can leave that to dry and this will be our beehive background and when it's dry, we will paint our bee on top. All right, so we are back. Our paper is nice and dry and we are ready to paint our bee so we're going to be using our fine detail brush again um, if you're really struggling with painting fine details you can use like a sharpie or a marker or something like that to help you so we're going to start by picking a spot that maybe isn't so dark so that you can paint your bee on it i'm going to paint it right here so I'm going to start by painting the head of my bee. Make sure you have a little bit of water on your brush so that you can create a nice smooth line. So start by painting a nice black circle for your bee. And then we're going to do two little antennas. Just curved lines connecting. You can make little eyes the side of your bee. And then our next strip is going to be a band of yellow. I'm just going to outline my bee. And we're going to have another kind of round circle for the middle. That's going to be black. You get some more water.
Then there'll be another yellow stripe. And then a black stripe. It helps to have a picture of a bee, so if you want you can find one from the internet and just print it off to be looking at. And then a white section at the end. And then we're going to paint our legs. So you can kind of paint straight lines. And our wings, gonna kind of have one that's a little bit shorter. And then our last set of legs at the top. So now that we've kind of mapped it out, we can go ahead and fill it in. So we can fill in our yellow middle stripe with some yellow acrylic paint. And the top yellow stripe as well up here. So you can use white, but I'm going to be using this silver color that I have and I'm just going to paint in the wings with it. If you want to paint more than one B, you could paint another B as well. And you can paint a little bit of white down at the bottom here as well. So after that you can let it dry. You can do another coat or you can kind of leave it so it's a little transparent which is what I'm going to do. And then you can get some black on your brush or you can use a thin marker like a sharpie to do this. And we can just add some lines very carefully across the middle of our wings. Like that. And just touch up any areas that need darkening. You can just go over again. And once you're happy, you can leave it be. So if you want to paint other designs on your beehive, you can do that. So you might want to paint 
little circles, like a little nice circle pattern, or you could paint little hexagon shapes just to add some other interest. You can do that in some areas. But once you're happy with your design, it's good to just stop. Make sure you've got some areas where it kind of overlaps and you can have some darker areas, some brighter areas. Like that. So, I think it looks good and you can stop anytime you feel like it. Remember your painting doesn't need to look like mine. You can experiment with mixing different colors, different yellows and reds and oranges and browns and just have fun with this project. So I would love to see what you create. You can tag me on Instagram at Jackie Partridge Art or use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes. I'd love to leave you a comment. If you like this video, be sure to press the like button as well as to subscribe. You can hit the bell for notifications for when new videos come out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.